Hi, DB Flicks here. Today I've got some tips for new players in Sea of Thieves in 2024. Even if you're a veteran player, but you're returning after some time off, some of these tips might help you too because they've been adding a lot of stuff to the game and you might have missed one or two things. And lastly, if you find any of these tips at all useful, please consider subscribing to the channel as it really helps me out a lot. And I'll also be posting a lot more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching. I've had a lot of new players ask me how to cook food properly in Sea of Thieves. It's really not that difficult. Some people actually use a timer. You can actually look online. Uh, the different meats uh, will take different times. Uh, I don't use a timer because I find that kind of silly and just I just don't need to do that. What I do is I just put the food on and you, you basically just keep an eye on it. Uh, after about a minute or so, for most of them, they should be just about done. Megalodon and Kraken will take it a little bit longer. You'll notice in the beginning, it's kind of like just light smoke and steamy looking. After a little bit of time, you'll notice the smoke gets a little heavier like this and the, the food starts to brown. It doesn't take much longer after this. You'll see it gets to a golden brown. And that's it, it's done. Uh, sometimes I end up taking it off a little early, but you can always cook it more. You can't uncook it once it burns because it's going to burn really fast once it's done. That's it. A lot of people don't realize you can actually bury treasure in Sea of Thieves. This is a feature added about a year and a half ago. This is very helpful if you're trying to steal some loot and you can't get away right away. So you can want to hide it real quick. All you got to do is on PC, use your right mouse button while you're near the loot while it's on the ground. And after a couple clicks, it buries it. Uh, you On controller, if you're on console, you want to use your left trigger button. Now you'll have a map in your inventory, which actually shows it so you can come back and get it later if you have to leave. Just be careful. Once you bury loot, a map bundle appears on your ship. Other crews can also board your ship and steal this map bundle, or if they sink you, the map bundle will be floating in the water and then they can dig up your loot. Sometimes digging up loot and see if these can be difficult. Some of the maps can get cluttered with a lot of trees and rocks, or if you're a little older like me, your eyes might not be that good anymore. Luckily, a little over a year ago, Sea of Thieves added a zoom function to the treasure maps. Hold up your map and press the interact button, which is F on PC, X on Xbox, or Square on PlayStation. This will allow you to see your map a lot more clearly. And if you're still having trouble, just use this old school trick we used to do before we had the zoom function. Head to the map table on your ship and zoom in. Then take out your spyglass and you can zoom in super close and you can see even the finest detail. Aiming the throwing knives are a little bit easier than you think. All you want to do is aim down sight like this with your right uh, mouse button or your left controller button and line it up with your left finger, your left pointer finger. It's going to go right above your finger. So aim that finger up, throw it, maybe right on target. That's it. It's pretty simple. A lot of people have been struggling to find the Horn of Fair Winds, but it's a lot easier than you think. What you want to do is head over to the Shrine of Flooded Embrace, just southeast of Shipwreck Bay. Dive down to the Shrine. Once you get into the shrine, just swim all the way to the bottom to the empty ship hull. You can ignore the sirens and just swim right by them. They shouldn't do too much damage. The horn has a chance of spawning in one treasury and two different shrines per server. If you don't find it, just keep hopping servers till you find one. If you found the right server, the horn will be right here on the bottom. Now swim at the left side of the hull near the throne, and then wrap around to the mermaid and place your horn into the mermaid. Now you can teleport back up to your ship. A 
Once you get back to your ship, just check to make sure the coast is clear, then hop in and grab your horn out of the mermaid. Here's what's so good about this method. The shrine resets every 15 minutes, so by the time you go sell the horn and you come back, there'll be another horn down there waiting for you. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.